Let's bring in Bruce Turkel, CEO of Turkel Brands. So they're getting a ton of PR out of this today. We've heard more about Playboy, heard the name, the brand said over and over again. But in the long run, do you think this is genius? Well, I, you know, I only read it for the articles, Melissa. Uh, so if I had a dime for every time I heard that joke today, Bruce. I mean, come on, I expect more of you, my friend. Go okay, again. so let's let's try this. Here's their strategy. They're going from T A T and A to Q and A. You tell me, is this going to replace this? I can't imagine how. No, okay, but let me be the devil's advocate. Here are ways that they're improving themselves. You can't really bring up naked pictures of people on your office computer. However. You know, you could go to the website and look at articles and this and that in the office if everybody's not naked. Um, you know, they've always <laughs> done the opposite of what's obvious. And right now, porn and nudity online is very obvious. So they go in the other direction. They try and bring in a younger, hipper audience. Maxim's done really well. I mean, maybe they try to be more Maxim, more Esquire. What do you think? Well you know, speaking of a younger audience, I'm glad I got through puberty before they made this decision. Listen, they have to try something, but I could even hear in your voice as you were describing it, you weren't falling for it. And when well, you ask anyone, target. what are they about? I, I, that, I'm, I'm not their target. I mean, I'm not the person that would be looking there anyway. And when you say you're, you're glad you grew up before this, I mean, if you were growing up now, you just have porn everywhere you look. So, yeah, there wouldn't be anything left to the imagination. That's a good point. I, they, you know what? I have to tell you, they got to try something. Yeah, I applaud them try for something. trying. I can't imagine how okay. it'll work. All right, David. All right, we're going to switch topics. Stay with our person here, New England quarterback Tom Brady, slamming Coca-Cola. He came to the defense of a discredited health guru who called the soda, quote, poison for kids. But Brady didn't stop there. He also took a hit at Frosted Flakes, no. saying the cereal's not real food. Bruce, I, I tell you, Frosted Flakes is not, I don't know how I grew up, because that's basically <laughs> all I ate when I was a kid. What do you make of this? David, when you grew up, remember, they were called sugar frosted flakes. Yeah. They were, there was truth in advertising. Here's what I find very strange about this. Tom Brady and his wife earn a major portion of their income being spokespeople for products, putting their names, putting their likenesses. And nowadays, Coca-Cola, Kellogg's, they own so many different things. I can't, for the yeah. life of me, figure out why he would make this stand. It makes no sense to me. Well, and I, I, I don't want to come to the defensive of the sugar products, but Coca Warren Buffett says he gets 25% of his caloric intake every day from Coca-Cola. He, he figured out how much Coke he drinks, and it's a fourth of all he, all he takes in. I mean, how, it has, he's 83 years old, he's got billions of dollars, and he's pretty healthy. Well, I don't know that I would use that as my measuring stick for what's healthy and what's not. But come on, we all know what's in that bottle. We all know if we should drink it or not. We all know when to have yeah. it as a treat. There's no question about that. All right, Bruce Turkel, thank you very much. Good to see you again, my thank friend. Thank you, David. In case of Joe Biden, the 